The phrase greatest of all time is thrown around in sports culture often. And more times than not, it happens early in an athlete's career. Superstars such as LeBron James, Dwight Gooden, Peyton Manning, and Mike Tyson were all thrust into the spotlight as greatest of all time. And while Manning and James still have something to say on the matter, the same cannot be said for Gooden and Tyson, who found that fame and fortune were overwhelming and eventually the root of their decline. Enter John Bones Jones, a handsome and charismatic New York native who also happens to be the current light heavyweight champion in the UFC, the fast-growing sports league that recently catapulted to the national stage with a seven-year, $700 million broadcast deal with the Fox family of networks. At 23 years of age, Jones became the youngest champion in UFC history, capturing the title by tearing through the division's veterans in an unparalleled display of mixed martial arts prowess. Jones has been called the future of mixed martial arts, a prodigy. His dynamic fighting style has captured the attention of mixed martial arts fans across the globe. But Jones is a young man who already has a deep understanding of what it takes to win in life and in sports. At a young age, he encountered tragedy and hardship causing him to question the faith that clearly anchors him and binds his tight-knit family together. Jones' story is one of a man who has taken the road less traveled, a role model for young men across America. Whether Jones will go down as the greatest mixed martial artist of all time is yet to be determined, but it seems the only person capable of standing in the way of Jones' meteoric rise is John Jones himself. The Ultimate Fighting Championship, or UFC as it's commonly referred, is arguably the fastest growing professional sports league in the world, and the rapid expansion has allowed the organization to hold events across the globe, opening offices in four continents along the way. And UFC owner and CEO Lorenzo Fertitta believes that what we're seeing now is just the tip of the iceberg. You know, people talk about, oh, you'll never be bigger than the NFL. I mean, I would, I would say we're, we're getting, if you, if you take the whole world, and, and wrap that around, I'd say we're actually getting close with our worldwide reach. I mean, we do have a special thing in that this is truly the only sport that you take to any corner of the earth, any country, people that speak any language. You, you show them, you put two guys in the octagon, let them use any martial art they want to compete. Everybody gets it. Everybody watches it. It appeals to everyone. And while there have been several dominant champions in the league's history, like George St. Pierre and Anderson Silva, None of these fighters seem to have created the type of buzz as their current light heavyweight title holder, Johnny Bones Jones. From the moment Jones burst onto the UFC scene in August of 2008, the comparisons to one of his childhood idols, iconic boxer Muhammad Ali, began. The hype is certainly not unwarranted. He holds a 15-1 career record, with 13 of those victories coming by way of knockout or submission. As creative in the cage as anyone the sport has ever seen, he has become the blueprint for what many budding mixed martial artists aspire to be. And he'll be taking all of that talent, as well as a six-fight win streak, into the cage when he battles bitter rival and former training partner Rashad Evans at UFC 145 on April 21st, where he'll defend his title for the third time. Already in his short career, he's been named Newcomer of the Year, Fighter of the Year, has collected four post-fight win bonuses for outstanding performance, and was even named the world's most dangerous man at the Guy's Choice Awards this past year, accomplishing all of this by the ripe old age of 24. There's much more to the man John Jones than what goes down inside the UFC octagon and on pay-per-view. 
Jones is also a devout Christian, a loyal family man, and a father of three young girls. He may train for his fights in Albuquerque, New Mexico, but his roots are all New York, raised upstate, where his parents still live today. Grew up uh, in the inner city of Rochester and, uh, you know, never really had too much outside of uh, lots of love and great parents. That's all you, I really uh, ever needed, you know. John's father, Arthur Jones Jr., is the pastor of the Mount Sinai Church of God in Christ in Binghamton, New York. And when he wasn't preaching sermons to his fellowship, you could likely find him in the stands watching one of his three sons compete in the sport of the season. There's little doubt that John's competitive side was fueled by Arthur. And if his vocal motivation wasn't enough, perhaps the monetary rewards were. Anything to show that hard work does indeed pay off. My dad's a great guy. You know, he's, he's a pastor, you know, so not only did he deal with... Uh, a whole congregation, spiritual needs and problems they were going through, but you know, he also managed to give us his full attention and be a, be a man to us. So I'm appreciative and I'm glad to have him. I felt growing up, he was always a little harder on me. You know, we looked a lot alike and uh, we had the same personality. So we would butt heads a lot. Mm -hmm. But you know, now that I'm an adult, I appreciate everything that I've gone through with my father because he's made me the strong man that I am today. He's made me the leader and the father that I am today. Um, he was a guy who was so passionate about us succeeding in sports to the point where he would show up and just watch us wrestle. And he'd be in the stands and just watch us play football. He made wrestling this competition for us where he would give us six dollars if we got a pin. And he gave us, I think, like two dollars if we won like uh, in the finals. So, you know, that really motivated us at a young age to, you know, if you work hard and you really push it and give it all you got, you know, you can make a you can make a living for yourself, and that that was kind of the message behind it. I strive to be like a lot like my father and do a good job as a parent and as a man. Another strong force in the Jones household was his mother Camille. If John's father was the motivator, Camille was the disciplinarian. She may have ruled with an iron fist, but she gave with a heart of gold. Something John says helped him see the world from a very different perspective. My mom, she's the strong one of the household. She. I think she wears the pants in the house, for sure. I mean, she's uh, she's very bold. She tells how she feels. She tells exactly how it is. Um, she's very compassionate at the same time. I've learned a lot from my mom. She's she's a strong, uh, amazing woman. I remember from a young age, she's always kept us in the soup kitchens at our church. You know, feeding the homeless, and you know, I always remember her helping out a lot of women who dealt with domestic violence and self-esteem issues and things like that. You know, she's always been. Uh, there for people. So I think that's the biggest thing I've learned from my mom is just uh, genuinely trying to care about complete strangers and you know caring about other people's well-being. She she worked with the adult mentally handicapped her whole life, you know. So it's another thing she kind of taught us at a young age, just to not judge people and be comfortable with people uh, despite what their problems are, or issues are. Tell me about your brothers specifically. Uh, I, you know, I have two brothers, uh, Arthur and Chandler. I'm the middle. We're best of friends. Me and Arthur, especially, you know, we were always in the same grade. So we have the same best friends, we, uh, we have the same hobbies, same facial expressions, same everything. He plays for the Baltimore Ravens and he has a, has a place in Baltimore, him and his fiance. Um, he's a great kid, you know, great athlete. We're really close, we do everything together. Uh, John's my best friend, you know, we take trips all, all the time together. You know, we went to Bahamas last year together. Uh, after this fight we're planning on maybe go to Africa, go hunting. So we just do a lot of things together, you know, it's, it's my best friend. And rounding out the Jones family of world-class athletes is his younger brother Chandler, who's projected to go as a first-round pick in this month's NFL Draft. Chandler and I, we were roommates growing up. You know, we never had our own bedroom, so we also know each other like the back of each other's hand. He just graduated from Syracuse University. I think he's 21 now and uh, did really good at AP Sports. All of his numbers this year were top 10, and uh, I'm really happy for him. I think he just met a little girlfriend. and. He's traveling and flying across the country and, and doing all types of nice things for himself now. So I'm really happy he's starting to, starting to uh, wreak the rewards of all the hard work he's put in. 